Well, this ain't no cooking channel, but today we're gonna cook. And the reason why we're gonna cook is because uh, we're gonna talk about a grill for uh, RV life. We uh, we got a new little grill, a uh, propane grill that we're gonna try out today. And if it works out good, it's gonna be the grill that we're gonna take on the road with us. Let me show it to you real quick. I'm not gonna do the whole unboxing thing because I mean you open the box and it pretty much comes like this and on the inside you lift the lid and it's got the accessories and stuff but I mean it's all put together so you don't have to worry about anything like that. Well, you can see it's not too terribly big, um, pretty small so one of the pluses is it's not gonna take up a ton of space when we get into the RV so that's one of the things we're looking for. We're looking for something that's gonna be uh, it's gonna cook hot enough to cook you know like steaks and hamburgers and chicken and stuff like that. We don't want to use like charcoal all the time. It takes forever. Uh, we'll use that sometimes, uh, like at campgrounds and things like that. But for the most part, I think this will be a good a good solution because um, you know it'll hook right up to propane. Let me show you what it comes with. Of course, it comes with the uh, with the manual and stuff. But it comes with this little tool. I guess this is just to help you clean it. So that works out pretty good. That's infrared. So the the infrared grate, I guess, reduces uh, flare-ups. It's supposed to cook your food more evenly and things like that. So um, we'll give it a try. You lift up the grate. You got the uh, the burner down there. Comes with the uh, comes with the adapter right here, and this adapter plugs to the uh, the one-pound little propane, little green propane canisters. We purchased the adapter, the extra extension, so that um, you can hook this up to a 20-pound propane tank. It is pretty easy to hook up this little dude uh, with the red dot up. And just goes right in there. And then you turn it. And now it's locked into place. And that's going to give you your, your um, control here at the front so you can see um, how big do you want your flame to get. And back here on the back side is the, uh, the igniter. And let me go get the propane tank. We'll hook it up. So there's your current setup. You got it hooked up there. You got it hooked down to the propane tank down there. Uh, we'll turn this on. Kick this on. We'll hit the igniter. And we'll fire it up. Now one of the features I like is that uh, that's a temperature gauge. So you can kind of see where you're at. Alright, we got the filet mignons. The filet mignons. Got all fancy because it's Easter. Leslie got, the, got us the, the fancy cut. Huh? Yep. What y'all doing in there? Scout. Scout came out to grill with us. Want some fillets? Mm -hmm. Some fillet mignons? This is like a meat, dude. You think it's baby. Yeah. <laughs> More like salad and worms. Looking <laughs> <laughs> all mad and stuff. So these guys are decently thick uh, so we already got our grill preheated up probably do about three minutes on each side some good uh, good char some good grill marks and go to a, a good medium ish steak let's try it I got this on the on the very lowest setting, and it's holding real good right around 450. It's right about where I want it. So um, on the lowest setting, it's really good. If you want to preheat it real fast, just crank it all the way up. This thing is so small, it, it heats up really quick. So uh, you heat it real quick. You just open the lid, let a little bit of that heat escape, hit, um, hit it back down to the lowest setting, and then you're right about between 450, 500, right where you want to be. When you throw the steaks on or whatever meat, it cools it down a little bit, but it heats heats right back up at the lowest setting. So um, Works really good so far. We'll see how it cooks. Alright, it's been about three minutes, so we're gonna flip these over. And um and looking good so far. And you can see because of this infrared grate down here, um, no flare-ups. Another grill marks on that bad boy. Oh yeah. That's good. 
good grill marks. See that? Searing real good. Another three minutes, we should be perfect. One of the other cool features is you got the little clasps on there. That way when you put this thing down in the, in the belly of your RV, hook those little clasps. Um, once it's cooled off, you can put your accessories and stuff in there and latch it up. And um, even if this thing bangs around a little bit, it's not going to be that bad because this is like that durable hard plastic on both sides. So if it bangs on something, it's no big deal. And these latches are closed, so it's not going to mess your mess your grill up. And it's not going to really bang in anything else and destroy it too bad. So uh, pretty good features on there. All right, well, it's been three minutes on that side. So we're going to take these off now. Let's see what this sear looks like on the other side. About the same. Pretty good on both sides. Yeah. So we'll take those off and let them rest. Now when you get done, what you're going to want to do is turn your grill off <laughs> before you toss her back into the RV. <laughs> That's going to cause an issue if you don't. <laughs> so make sure, make sure you turn everything off. Unhooked propane tank. We carry around an extra 20 gallon propane tank with us because uh, we run our generator on propane also, which we haven't tested out yet. We're going to test that out and share a video of that with you. But uh, we carry around an extra propane tank, so we'll use this uh, extra propane tank to run our grill, to run our portable uh, little fire pit that we have, and to run generator. So um, we just kind of wanted everything to run off, off propane uh, a lot easier. We just carry around a little bit of extra. But uh, make sure you turn your stuff off before you throw it back in the RV. Make sure it's been turned off for a while and it's cooled off, uh, cooled to the touch before you throw it back in the RV, because only you can prevent RV fires. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> He's like, you guys coming? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be my steak critic. How was it? It was very good. Yeah? Yeah. Full disclosure. Came off the first time and it was medium rare. Yeah. Put it back on for about a minute. Mm -hmm. Came off perfect. Medium. Yes. And it was really good. Mm-hmm. So we recommend the grill. Heck yeah. Yeah, man. Thing heats up quick. Good features. Small. It's going to fit in the RV really well. Um, propane. It doesn't burn a lot mm -hmm. of propane. So that's a plus. And then um, cooks really well. It did cook well. And I'm guessing since it heats up pretty quick, it probably cools down pretty quick. Probably cleans up pretty easily. Mm -hmm. I've heard the little grate things are a little difficult to clean, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's worth it because you don't get flare-ups, cooks your food evenly, Yeah. and uh, this is a pretty good deal. Yeah. You can get them on Amazon for about a hundred bucks, a little over a hundred bucks. Um, so it's the Grill To Go X200 from Charbroil, and we'll put a link in the description below in case you want to go get one, but um, we definitely recommend. We only put stuff on the channel that we recommend, yeah. um, and that we use, and that we like. So if it doesn't make it to the channel, um, we didn't like it. <laughs> We've shot things before, mm -hmm. um, trying stuff out, and it didn't make it to the channel. Um, so we're not just out there tossing stuff onto the channel uh, willy-nilly. Um, stuff we like is the only thing that makes it. So this will make it to the channel, because we recommend. And um, as we're going down the road and cooking more stuff, we'll let you know how it continues to work. Yeah. So. I get it. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh man, she never gives anything two thumbs up. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> there's lots of different um, types of little portable grills out there, but um, yeah. you know, for the price and what what we wanted it to do and size and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, so we wanted a nice one. Mm -hmm. And we know Charbroil is a good, good name, so we, we tried that. and We've never had an infrared. No. So that was different, but I like it. I didn't see any flare-ups. Yeah. Like, you know, you get with the, with the regular propane grill with just the grates. When the juices fall down and hit that burner, it flares up, and then it can, like, burn your meat. But with the infrared, um, they advertise that the, it reduces flare-ups doesn't eliminate them but it reduces the flare-ups and when we were cooking the steaks I didn't see any flare-ups at all. Yeah. You get more flare-ups with burgers generally than you will with steaks. The fat content of yeah. the meat is but, um, very. 
with with zero flare-ups on the steaks, yeah. I'm guessing that even with burgers, it's going to be minimal. If any. Yeah. If any at all. So. Mm -hmm. um, so we recommend. Yes. Leslie even gives it two thumbs up. It's crazy. <laughs> Never ever gives anything two thumbs up. So. If I worked for Good Housekeeping, it would get the Good <laughs> Housekeeping seal, seal of, of approval. approval. <laughs> it's a, a now a, a WAG approved mm -hmm. and recommended yes. item. Yes, so, well worth it. If you're thinking about getting one, jump over to Amazon, get you one and deliver it. And they have them in the hardware stores too, Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like mm -hmm. that. So grab them wherever. Yeah. Good times. I look forward to using it more. Yeah, I think, you know, I think when we're on the road, we're going to cook outside a lot. Yeah. Because um, we got propane inside, but, you know, you don't, you don't want to smell up your RV all the time. And, you know, you don't want to... And if it's nice out all the time where you are, why wouldn't you? Sure. Yeah. If you're, if you're doing burgers or steaks or just grilled chicken or, or something like that. Bob's. I mean, why put it in a pan? I mean, throw it on a, mm -hmm. on a grill. Instead of getting the griddle to throw onto your, onto your cooktop, mm -hmm. which, which didn't get the direct heat, I might as well just go fire up the little yeah. X200 <laughs> and uh, cook real quick and enjoy the outside and I think we're going to use a lot. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Well, that's a wrap for this one. Thanks for watching, y'all. Yeah. Bye.